you guys, we just got out of the dentist with and JB. I, and I got a, a surprise. Here you go, baby. And I was doing good. Y'all, I don't know how we're gonna do this. They didn't tell me how many cavities he has. It's not just one. This is so heartbreaking to me. Six. So, and then the cost. He has to go under and the anesthesia is not in network and that's gonna be six hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my god, y'all. So she's like, I'm gonna just send you everything, the price, everything and send it to you. Um by the end of the day, I'm like, oh my god. I think it's gonna be at least what we look at least a thousand dollars. The doctor was dentist was actually saying even something like carbohydrates, which turns into I sugar, um, that can affect it. You know, um, he advised that he only drinks juice when he's eating a meal. JB loves juice, um, mostly green juice, but that stuff has sugar in it too, and he will drink it back to back to back all day. So we have to limit that. He can only have water. Mm -hmm. um, and he said something else that I didn't even consider. And I noticed it in the description and when I was filling out the paperwork. Did he nurse all night? And I clicked yes. I mean, I checked yes. And so he said, you know, um, he said, did you nurse at night? I said, oh, yeah. We nursed all night for two and a half years. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to, he was going to bed with, with, oh, cause this is what I said. I said, so what are these little spots on the front of his teeth? Because the last dentist said that he had some type of enamel condition where it's very soft and it just chips off. He said, those are actually cavities. So those have been on his teeth since, that, that kind of bothers me that she didn't catch that. My dentist, but then she's not a pediatric dentist, but still. Those have been on his teeth since he was two years they old, and teeth. we ignored it because we thought it was what she said was this condition where it just kind of flakes off and it's okay, you know. I got a tooth. The dentist said no. Oh, just another thing, but it's okay. I'm a, once I get the plan of care, I'm going to speak to my husband about it, and we're just going to go ahead and do it. We both have, we both make sure that our um, dental care is on point. No, I'm gonna switch back to the um my red pair, which are Louis Vuitton. These were expensive, so I don't know why they're not non glare. They were two hundred dollars. The Louis Vuitton was were those were a little bit those those were a little bit pricey, yeah. Anyway, y'all, um today has been a bad day. It's been a bad day. Um And I'm trying not to allow, look, what is, what is the word says? Do not let the sun go down with anger in your heart. I'm trying not to be angry at anything. I'm trying not to let any feelings that I have right now go into the next day. And that day, you screw up. And then your whole damn week is just messed up and you're drinking. Well, I already had a glass of wine, but, but seriously, I tried not to uh, let things spill over into the next day. Um, and I don't hold on to anything, girl. I don't have time to that. But today snowballed into a cluster of foolery. So y'all saw this morning, we went to the dentist and just the news that he has to have um, his teeth looked at. Um, but I did some research on it and it's absolutely imperative to start doing it early because that just lays the foundation for his permanent teeth. And I already knew that it's okay. So came home. Oh, let me back up. <laughs> I was so distracted by the news that the dentist gave me that I was going the wrong way coming home. I ended up about 30 miles away from our house. Was livid that I got lost. Was like, okay, the only thing that's gonna make me feel better at this point is fried chicken. <laughs> 
So I found the local Popeyes. I found the Popeyes, which is really hard to do, y'all. Arizona is very, Phoenix is very health conscious. Whatever. So, uh, dropped JB off at um, one of my neighbor's house that who runs an indoor daycare so that I can get some stuff done. Got some stuff done, whatever. Then I'm like, okay, you know what? While JB is over there, let me hurry up and make a quick 20 minute video for y'all hair related video i've been wanting to do the video on jamaican like castor oil versus castor oil i'm like cool let me do a little beat real quick i did it real quick okay real quick and i'm because i'm still frazzled okay still frazzled can do it real quick do it real quick record the video not even thinking about it play back the video i don't know what happened one of my dang on eyebrows is messed up i'm like oh, are you kidding me can't use that footage, so I have to re-record either tomorrow or in a couple more days. I'm like, okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> go pick up JB. All right, go pick up JB, get JB stuff ready, you know, whatever, for school, for tomorrow. Go to my computer, I'm locked out. A corporate um, account does not work. <laughs> and that's what I need to access my Outlook. That's what I need to get into the internet. I need it. Our help desk is now in India. Their accents are so strong that calling the help desk is my last resort. So at this point, it's two o'clock. I'm like, I'm not calling them. I'm not calling them. I'm not calling them. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. So I'm like, okay, well, today's done. Didn't really get any work done. I let my manager know, look, I don't have access to anything. Even on my phone, it's completely out because my court credentials are locked. <laughs> that happened did a little bit as you guys saw did a little bit of um emotional shopping i purchased all that stuff from fries y'all it's just a good deal so yeah y'all all right y'all i'm gonna go pick up jb i need to put this thing on the charger why is the color not working there we go i gotta pick up jb i didn't run any of the errands i was supposed to before picking them up so i'm just gonna go to the grocery store no Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna go to the bank and then we're gonna go to the grocery store together. Oh well, oh well, he's gonna be acting crazy too. I just know it. My friend is so silly. Y'all, he is so silly. He talking about he's offended because he just got back from the eye doctor. Well, earlier he got back from the eye doctor and the eye doctor said that his retinas had stretch marks. <laughs> his retinas have stretch marks. So he said, I'm just offended. He's skinny too. JB, hi boo boo. Hi, hi, Junka. I, I, I like. Don't want to kiss you because I still got on makeup. Y'all, that makeup is lasting long. That beat. Look at that highlight, though. Look at that contour. No, <laughs> This day has has. It's been a good day today, y'all. Got a lot done. I need Um, I called myself wanting to take a nap. Then my best friend called me right when I was laying down, and she's like, "Are you laying down?" I'm like, "Yes." She's like, well, I just have one question to ask you. What, what did you do Sunday night? She's like, you better have the right answer. I said, oh, baby, you already know. It was The Walking Dead. She's like, that's what I'm talking. She's like, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry, y'all. I've had a glass of wine. So we are both Walking Dead fans. She was filling me in on some stuff that I didn't catch last season. But anyway, besides that, as I was going to go pick up JB, I was thinking about my one co-worker I used to work with um, before I came out here you guys I used to work at a JCC a Jew the Jewish Community Center out in Dallas Aaron Family Jewish Community Center so I used to work with this two older women and one of them though I became really close with her we would kid around joke around I got to know her on a personal level um, she was an older woman she was like 72 at the time really sweet sassy her style was impeccable miss wanda rogers would dress her tail off and the, re the reason so i say woods because she's retired she's still alive thank god which is what i found out today because i mean honestly i was looking her up trying to find her i lost her phone number her her phone number changed and i've been trying for like five years off and on to get back in touch with her right so y'all she was old she's an old school Southern belle to the T. Hair big, full, big blonde hair. Picture Dolly Parton. Yes, like that honey. Oh, 
I learned a lot from her. <coughs> okay, baby, hush, hush, hush. I learned a lot from her, though. Hush, baby, hush. I see it. I Y'all, sorry. Look at that. He is so cute, though. His skin is so. No stress, girl. But I learned a lot from her about having class, having style, um, being a lady yet, being able to check you. Girl, she would check women in a minute in a very classy PC way. <laughs> but she was just, I never saw her repeat an outfit. Never. She used to be a model back in the, oh, that's my cornbread. She used to be a model back in the 50s and 60s. She said she would do hand modeling. I didn't know they had that then. She would do hand modeling and she would model uh, clothes for like Sears. Just the things she would tell me, which is amazing. And I appreciate that. Sorry, let's turn this down, baby. So, uh, just as a real sweetheart, get to the point, girl. So I was thinking about her and I called the old community center. Center Again, this is the JCC. And I just randomly asked, and I do this, I would do this every three years. And people were like, she doesn't work here, yada, yada. But this time, I got into contact with someone I used to work with. And she's like, yeah. She's like, it's nice to talk to you. She's like, I barely, re I barely remember you, but um, she gave me uh, Wanda's number, Miss Wanda's number. She said she's doing good. She's retired. She just spoke to her. So I tried calling her, and she's not answering. I sent her a text message, y'all. At this point, she has to be pushing nearly 90. Yeah, nearly 90. Oh, but I she's, think this is a commercial. But this woman's a fighter, y'all. She's battled cancer or heart attack. She is a fighter. And people from that era, they do, they fight to stay alive. And she was working well up until like almost 80. She didn't look her age either. Beautiful woman. So um, I don't even need to speak to her, honestly. Just to know that she's alive and well, that's all I need. That is all the confirmation I need. So that really made, that's made my week so Black magic, hold on y'all, I'm in this, I just got a notification from Facebook about being added to a group. I don't like to be added to no groups, girl. So let me see what y'all doing. Yeah, I decided to put on some clothes today since my husband is off. Man, that pimple is looking horrible. He's off today. Um, because look, normally I'm like, I'm like, sorry y'all, normally I'm like, I'm just gonna wear one of my, I call them mommy uniforms, girl. There's these four or five dollar, this is so horrible, four or five dollar, basically a damn modernized moo moo, because it goes to your knees, it's made in t-shirt material, and they have cute little logos. I know you see them, you go to our Walmart, right there by the freezer section, they got them there. They got one for Halloween, I got one for Valentine's Day, a couple for Christmas. They're very comfortable, big t-shirt type, but y'all, I need to stop doing that. It's okay every now and then, but men are very visual. So, and I don't see my husband. It would be totally different if he sees me. We probably see each other just because of um, his schedule one, because I'm up running around doing things for JB and working. So I probably th see him three hours out of the day. So he's off today. So I'm gonna put on a little cute shirt. I, you know, I kept the first button unbuttoned. Let me show a little cleavage action. Let me see what this girl added me to. Black Girl Magic added you to Black Girls Brunch Phoenix group. Oh, they actually created a group for this. Oh, it says sad news, no brunch this month. We hope that you know that there isn't a single place in this world where we'd rather be than with you. Unfortunately for now, we will have to take a pause. And I knew this was gonna happen. And this is the reason why they've been going at this strong for six months. But I, let me let me not say that. I'm not trying to come up as, oh, I, I knew they weren't gonna last long. Not like that. But I was expecting for them to stop a couple of months ago, actually. Hell, I was stopping at three or four brunches. They've been doing this every month for like almost a year, I think. Almost, almost a year, if not nine months. That is amazing. And it's not just a brunch. They highlight or they feature um, an African-American woman. You, they, they have vendors. Um, they have a DJ. It's a beautiful, beautiful time and moment to be with other women here in the valley. That's good, baby. Go ahead and put it right there. So you guys, I'm starting to cook and I have JB helping me cook. All right, baby, now I'm, once I start cutting these up, um, I'm gonna have you to wash the cauliflower, okay? okay? So tonight we're having cauliflower, green beans, and then I'm making I'm a, the that's fine, baby. 
Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm about to wash him again. He's putting his hands all in it. I'm getting ready to wash. So, um, the chicken thighs is going to be a creamy. I'm making a creamy garlic sauce, basically. What I'm going to do is season this with garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, Italian seasonings, um, sear it with a mixture of olive oil and butter. Don't do that. Olive oil and butter. Once it's about... Mm, 10, 12 minutes into it, I'm gonna pour in one fourth of a cup of white wine. Let that simmer another five or eight minutes and then I'm gonna pour in some half and half, maybe not half a cup, half a cup of chicken stock, excuse me y'all. Half a cup of chicken, chicken stock. Um, one fourth of a cup of white wine and then on one fourth of a cup of heavy cream. Now this would be really good if you put in some kale or some spinach but I don't have all that. I'm just cooking what I have on hand, okay? Green beans have gone bad, you guys. I like my food fresh, and look how they're turning. I mean, even filling them, they feel mushy. I've only had these green beans for two days, and they've already gone bad. So JB's gonna pour off the water. I'm trashing these. Yeah, like every other one, look at that. Look at that. Every other one is really bad. You can actually put your hand over and feel it. So y'all, I'm about to make some, no, 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 it's really hot, it's really hot. I'm about to make some castor oil packs. So yes, these are socks. It. Actually, it's actually cooling down. Go ahead, baby. These are socks, but these are new socks that are too little for me. Typically, you would use cotton or um, flannel. Well, it's cooling down, it's cooling it's down. It's cooling down, yeah. So what I did is I popped these in a microwave. Um, you typically just take some type of cloth material you would soak it in castor oil which i have here i'm literally going to use almost all of this and um then you wrap well i'm sorry you apply it like this to the area and then you wrap uh saran wrap around it and then you would typically add a water bottle or some type of heat um but since i and i, I need to go ahead and rewarm it up i like to go ahead and just warm up the cotton or whatever I'm using and quickly apply it in, with saran wrap. So I'll probably do one at a time. The back of my legs are on fire. They are inflamed. Yes, I could probably take medication. They're on fire? <laughs> yes, I could probably take medication, but I'm actually out of my nerve medication right now. Fire so, um, I think. And you guys, I also added tea tree oil, um, sandalwood oil, and basil to this. Um, yeah. This is gonna go around my other leg. I already just put one on. So yeah, I'm gonna leave these on, I guess for about 30 minutes or so. I'm at the doctor's office because my neck, my neck and back have been hurting. And yes, I'm going back to the chiropractor. Y'all, when I, my last chiropractor visit, he was like, you have short leg syndrome. I'm like, the devil is a lie. I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought he made that shit up. So, I am going to the chiropractor, but in between then, I'm still in pain. So, um, the doctor just gave me a prescription for, I don't know, some drug that begins with my M. I'm gonna look it up though before I start taking it. And she refilled my gap in Penton, which I've been on since like 2015 for pain in my legs. They wanted to run, um, well they did. I stayed for a while so they could do additional blood work to make, see if I possibly have RA, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I don't think it's that deep. I honestly think my neck and back is from my titties. And inflammation has always been there, fatigueness. I mean, it's good to run it. I'm like, I was cool with it. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, girl. I'm in my deductible. Run everything you want. It's good to be to be mindful, um, you know, and make sure to rule out everything else. But I think the source is coming from my heavy boobs. Uh, and so um, I told us I was on, I'm, I took I, two ibuprofen already and I'm still feeling pain. So instead of taking ibuprofen all day, she decided, okay, let's get you on the medication where you just take it once and you're done. With that being said also, I still try to keep a attitude and still be optimistic and same token. So I'm gonna go over here and get me a burger. <laughs> I'm gonna go to In-N-Out, get me a burger, do a little um, emotional eating, 
yeah sometimes you gotta put a smile on your face even in, on the inside you feel horrible I have taught myself to be that way um, your immune system is tied to your mood too so even when I'm feeling bad and feeling down I put myself in a good mood put a smile on my face go get a burger Ryan Little <laughs>